Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is the square root of k plus square root of minus k, this is equal to 4. So what is the value of k given that k is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution again from here. Now, we have the square root of k plus the square root of minus k, this is equal to 4. The first step is to take the square root of minus k on the right hand side so that we have square root of k. This is equal to 4 subtract square root of minus k. The next step from here, let's square both sides so that now the square root of k raised to the power of 2, this implies we eliminate the square root sign so that we have k is equal to 4 minus square root of minus k raised to the power of 2. Now 4 minus square root of minus k raised to the power of 2 this is in the form of a minus b raised to the power of 2 which we can express as a squared plus b squared then minus 2ab. Now, applying this algebraic identity, then we have that k is equal to, now, this is 4 squared, then plus square root of minus k raised to the power of 2, then subtract 2 times 4, then times square root of minus k. Okay? So, let's... 4 squared here is 16, then we have now square root of minus k squared, this means we eliminate the square root sign, so that we have plus times minus k, this means we have here minus k, then subtract 2 times 4, this is 8, then square root of minus k. Now, we have that k here is equal to we have 16, this is 16, subtract, now this is k, then subtract 8 square root of minus k. Now, we have here, we have k on the left hand side and we have minus k on the right hand side. So let's take minus k on the left hand side, so that we have k plus k, this is equal to 16 minus 8 square root of minus k okay k plus k this is 2k then this is equal to now 16 minus 8 2 is common here so we can factor out 2 so that we have here this is 8 if you say 8 times 2 this is 16 then subtract 8 divided by 2 this is 4 then square root of minus k. The next step is to divide both sides by 2. So that now we have that k is equal to, this is 8 minus 4 square root of minus k. Now, the next step from here, let's take this plus 8 on the left hand side. So that now we have k minus 8, this is equal to minus 4, square root of minus k. Now we can write this equation as minus 4, then square root of minus k, this is equal to k minus 8. So let's square both signs from here, let's square both signs. And the first thing to note here, minus 4 square root of minus k raised to the power of 2, this is in the form of a times b raised to the power of n, and this can be expressed as a to the power of n times b to the power of n. Therefore, we have minus 4 raised to the power of 2, then times square root of minus k raised to the power of 2, this is equal to k minus 8 raised to the power of 2.
So minus 4 squared, this is equal to 16 times square root of minus k squared. This means we eliminate the square root sign. So here we have 16 times minus k. This is equal to. Now, let's expand this um, equation here. So we have k minus 8 raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as k squared minus. Now we have 16 k and then plus 8 squared. This is equal to 64. So here we have minus 16k. This is equal to k squared minus 16k plus 64. And this implies that minus 16k here and minus 16k here simplifies. So that we have k squared plus 64, this is equal to 0. So this implies that we have that k squared, this is equal to minus 64. And therefore, to solve for k here, we introduce square root on both sides. So we have square root of k squared, this is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 64. Four. So this implies that k is equal to plus or minus the square root. Now we can express the square root of minus 64 as 64 times minus 1. And this implies that k is equal to plus or minus the square root of 64. This is 8. Square root of minus 1. This is i. So we have that k1 is equal to 8 i and a and that's k2 is equal to minus 8 i so let's verify quickly if these two values of k satisfies the equation now we have the square root of k plus the square root of minus k this is equal to 4 starting with k1 then we have the square root of 8 i then plus square root of minus 8i, this is equal to 4. The first thing to do here is to square both signs here, so that now here we have the square root of 8i squared, then plus square root of minus 8i squared, then we have plus 2 times square root of 8i, times square root of minus 8i. This is equal to 4 squared, which is equal to 16. Now we have the square root of 8i squared. This means we eliminate the square root sign, so that we have 8i. Then square root of minus 8i squared, we also eliminate the square root sign, plus times minus 8i, so we have minus 8i, then plus 2, into the parentheses, we have the square root of 8i times square root of minus 8i. This is equal to 16. Now, 8i minus 8i simplifies so that we have 2 into the parentheses. Now, this is the square root of 8i times square root of minus 8i, which you can express as a single square root here. That is 8 times 8. This is 64. Then we have i times i. We have i squared then times minus 1. This is equal to 16. This should give us a value of 16. i squared, this is equal to minus 1. i squared is the same thing as minus 1. Substituting minus 1 here, we have the square root of 64 times minus 1. Then times minus 1. This is should give us a value of 16. So here we have 2 into the parentheses. Square root of 64. This is 8. Then times minus 1 times minus 1. Which is 1. And square root of 1. This is equal to 1. So this should give us a value of 16. So here we have 8 times 2. Which is 16. And this is equal to 16. So the left add side is equal to the right add side so let's check k2 
which is equal to minus 8i. Let's check if this satisfies the equation. So we have the square root of minus 8i, then plus the square root of minus minus 8i, this is equal to 4. Now, again here, let's square both signs from here, so that now we have here the square root of minus 8i raised to the power of 2, then plus square root of, this is minus times minus, so you have the square root of 8i raised to the power of 2, then plus, we have 2, multiplying by square root of minus 8i times square root of 8i, this is equal to 16. This should give us a value of 16. Now, the square root of minus 8i squared, we eliminate the square root sign, so that we have minus 8i, then plus, again we eliminate the square root sign here, so we have plus 8i, then plus 2, into the parentheses, now we can express, remember this is in the form of square root of a times square root of b, which we can express as a single square root of a times b. Okay? Therefore, this implies that we have the square root of, this is minus 8 times 8, which is minus 64. And then we have i times i, this is equal to i squared. This is this should give us a value of 16. Now, eight minus 8i plus 8i, this simplifies. So that we have 2 into the parentheses. We have the square root of, we can express minus 64 times i squared as 64. Multiplying by minus 1 then multiplying by i squared, this is supposed to give us a value of 16. Now, i squared, this is the same thing as minus 1. Substituting minus 1, then this implies that we have 2 into the parentheses, the square root of 64 times minus 1, then times i squared, which is minus 1, this is supposed to give us a value of 16. And it's clear that here we have 2 times square root of 64, this is 8, times minus 1 times minus 1, which is 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 16. So 8 times 2, this is equal to 16. And this is equal to 16. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that K1 and K2 satisfies the equation. K1, which is 8i, and K2, which is minus 8i, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video.